Welcome to Doesn't Matter. What is it that you love? What gets you up in the morning? Who gets you up in the morning? What are the things that drive you to perform, to do better, to be better? Um, what are the things that energize you and raise your energy? Those things generally require that powerful feeling of love, of commitment, of um, involvement, of engagement. The only problem with that is that motivation is fleeting. So even the powerful motivations of love, the powerful motivations of passion, of interest, it's transient. It comes and it goes and it comes and it goes. It, it doesn't last. It's not consistent. So I think one of the big mistakes that people make most commonly, and it's certainly one that I discovered quite a few years ago, was that relying on motivation to carry you through those ebbs and flows, well, you're going to have lots of ebbs and flows. You're not going to be as consistent as you need to be. Passion ebbs and flows. It ebbs and flows. It's supposed to. If you stayed at a higher passionate level all the time, you'd die. <laughs> you physiologically burn out. That's why we don't... You can't stay in love. No matter how much you love someone, you can't stay in love perpetually with them. You, you're going to have, again, cyclic ebbs and flows and times where you feel very loving towards them and times where, you, you know, you want to put your foot up their ass because they're annoying. But that's an ebb and flow. It's natural. It's supposed to happen. The thing that isn't supposed to ebb and flow is the underlying commitment you've made to you, to whether it's a job, a relationship, uh, a career, a sport, whatever it is, a, a commitment, a personal commitment, doesn't matter. It's not important. The only thing that's important is that you made a commitment to that. You made a promise to yourself. You have a dream. And so that requires consistency. That requires that nice, fairly even playing. Passion won't get you there. Passion starts it. Passion reminds you periodically. And passion's for enjoying the benefits of being consistent. But passion won't get you there. It won't. It's, that's, that's a myth. Passion just gets the ball rolling. What's going to keep that ball rolling is discipline. Which sort of tackles the core of what I wanted to talk about today, which is that love without discipline is a waste of time and is usually going to result in tragedy. Discipline without love is equally catastrophic because discipline without love will usually involve you being a slave to someone, an employer, a bad spouse, a parent or family member, but you will become a slave to something or someone, an addiction, okay? But discipline without something worthwhile to be disciplined about can lead to some very bad places. It can also lead to you being someone that you're not, adopting a persona and living a lie. So on the one hand, love without discipline just leads to endless serial, serial catastrophes that, that never seem to end and leave you scratching your head wondering why does this keep happening and then having discipline without love is a very dry desert of a world where you're most likely to be find yourself being exploited your discipline being exploited by others and never heading in the direction that you actually really want to head in because you don't know where you really want to head or you haven't acknowledged it the the two are meant to go together you're meant to feel passion, love, motivation, enthusiasm, and you're meant to link that to work, to ethics, to conscientiousness, to industriousness, industriousness, to discipline, so that it becomes something deeply meaningful, something that you can do something with. So I guess the point of this at the, at the, at the end of the day is 
love something with everything you've got. Like give it all, give it a red hot crack, as the Aussies would say. Give it a red hot crack and give it everything you've got. And you're not giving it everything you've got if you're not consistent, disciplined, and persevering through difficulties and, dis and obstacles. But that's essential. So give that a go. That, that's the duality. That's the binary. Love plus, plus discipline equals success, whatever and however you deem success to be. Oops.